Our boys are going to take a seat, and our girls are taking their positions on the lane. There's a nice, friendly handshake. Thought we Mackenzie were taking a little for... practice slide. Yeah, I know. Big crowd from Pilgrim today, Dan. A lot of support. And Mackenzie Easterbrooks throwing out the first ball right on the head pin, Dan. She nailed it. Nailed it. And she's got a good leave, something we didn't see a lot of in the warm-ups. And here's Jordan Levitt. Jordan's a newcomer to our show. She's tried out many a times, though, Dan, as we've seen her in the past. And uh, very nice to see a new face on our show. It's great to see her here, Steve. I think I've been rooting for her for a couple of years now. She's here every time. Pretty spare there by uh, Easterbrooks. Easterbrooks not messing around. Jordan's here every time she tries out with us. She's missed by one or two pins a couple of times. It's great to see her finally make it. That's what it's all about. Oh, tough ball by Jordan. She'll be looking for the out, looking for a 9 or 10. Mackenzie rooting her on over there. Mackenzie, what a great young lady. Great sport. She is. Is this the exact same team that we had uh, last month? Mackenzie and Sean Carroll that, that were the, the uh, second place finishers? That's correct. That's uh, correct. It's uh, funny that they teamed up again, isn't it? To Kelly and, uh, and Jacob Robichaud. Yeah. Nice seven for Jordan Levitt with her first box with us here on Candlepin for Kids. Mackenzie with a one fill. Our bowlers will be looking to qualify for our championship show set in the month of June. We have five events every year. And this year we've added a sixth event with the, with the championship show. So the winner of this match will be moving on. We already have one qualifying team when we bowled last month at the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. That was, we just mentioned them, Jacob Robichaud and Madison Kelly. We're going to see Madison next week uh, as she qualified for a higher age group. <laughs> she tried to, uh, she tried to, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what the word I'm move looking up, for. Move up, advance. She, she was matched up against the higher age group, and uh, she really put it to the, uh, the older women of our show. Great job by Madison Kelly. Yeah, that's nice eight box by Jordan Levitt. After two frames, Easter Brooks and Carroll are at 17. Levitt and Bonanno, 15. It's a two-string total determining our winner today. All our kids uh, will receive a $35 gift card just for being with us today. And if they get three marks in a row, Dan, you know what that means. Yeah, they get an extra $15 in their gift card, bringing it to $50. A nice, nice take-home gift card for these kids. Nice shot by Mackenzie Easterbrooks. Mackenzie with the big smile. She's having a lot of fun. <laughs> Tough ball by Jordan. She'll be looking for a big out. That second ball hasn't been good, too good to her yet. No, she's, she's actually a very good baller. I expect we're going to see some good boxes from her as we go. We've already seen some good balls from her. There's a great ball, Dan. Yep. All right. Jordan Levitt, solid out there. Great job. Getting a little encouragement. 26 through 3 for Easter Brooks and Carroll. Levitt and Bonanno, 22. It's only a four-pin difference. After five frames, the boys will be coming up, their partners, to finish out the first game. Uh, Jordan's got uh, sparkles on her pants. It reminds me, remember two or three years ago, Kylie Josefiak used to always have sparkles. That's what we were calling her for a while. Yeah, I mean, we may have, we may have sparkles a new... Sparkles Josefiak. We may have a new owner of that nickname. Sparkles Levitt. Mackenzie taking out the corner pins, the two toughest pins on the plate. She'll be looking for a big out. Nice ball by Levitt. Three pins remaining. Oh, look at that. Uh, no, luck, no luck for Easterbrooks on that ball. Right on the head pin where she wanted to be. She drove him straight back. Settles for a five box. We have a new scorekeeper with us this month, Dan. This young lady's been on our show in the past. She's been a, a champion on our show, yeah. Dan. Yeah, she's and a I great think she's one of your favorites. She is one of my favorites. I, I always tell her every time I see her, Steve, if I, if I had a sister, I, I think I'd want it to be her. It's that would be kid. Danielle Manser. She does a few other things other than bowling. I think she's involved in um, some imagination uh, contests. She's, she plays Magic the Gathering. A lot of interesting stuff. She's a fine young lady, that's for sure. Brother just went off to Iraq, she was telling me. Oh, he definitely would like to wish him the best of luck. Yeah, and maybe he'll be able to watch her keeping score, maybe from there, if he's got access to the internet. That'd be nice. That'd be great. All right, our ladies are in the fifth and final box here. 
Oops. Only a two pin difference. Oops. All right. No, no. No, yeah, okay, you're right. You don't have to hit the button, Jordan. Oh, man, there you go. Nice 10 by Easterbrooks for a 41 half. Jordan waiting for, uh, waiting her, for balls her balls to return. A little slow on that one. A little lane. Solid 41 half. Easterbrooks and Carroll. Levitt looking for the outs. Settles for a five. We'll see if Danielle caught that second ball. And she did. She didn't miss it. Good job by our scorekeeper, Dan. <laughs> She's doing All better right, than great me. Good job by our young lady. <laughs> And here comes their partners, the boys. Sean Carroll will be leading us off. Sean, a veteran of our show now. This is his third time with us, Dan. Yeah, he's ever since he first started coming, he's he's been impressive. He's been very consistent. He makes the finals quite often. He's looking to win that one so that this year he'll be able to qualify for the final show. That's the change we've made this year. Once you win in the championship match, uh, you go on to our final show where it's a ladder format and the kids compete for uh, a jackets, of trophies. Nice ball by Carroll for the spear. Same with Bonanno, he threw a great ball, almost converted the shot, leaving the nine and 10 up. And he takes out the nine, finishes with a nine box. Nice opening frame for our boys. Sean Carroll, as we mentioned before, this is his third time with us. Sean says he doesn't do much of anything but bowling. He loves bowling. His high single is 132. He has a high triple of 309. And he's currently averaging 89. He was the, uh, Sean was the 2006 state's uh, high single winner with a 126 game. And we said Sean does his bowling at the Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston. Great ball by Bonanno. Carroll filling the spear with a two. It's 53-43 through six. Bonanno almost making his first uh, spear. Uh, that's two, two frames in a row. He put a great second ball in there. Great attempt, come up, just to come up a little short. S settles for a nice 10 box. Our match has gotten closer thanks to some good pinning by Danny Bernardo up there. He's cut the lead down to only six pins. Bonanno's throwing a good ball, just hasn't had a lot of luck. Carroll, nice uh, eight pin drop, two pins remaining. He's got the three and six. We'll see, put a little piece of wood that shouldn't cause him much problem. Wasn't quite covering the three pin. Nice try by Bonanno. 68 62, only a six pin difference. I'm a little bit of uh, trouble waiting for some of the balls to come back on lane 18. That's why we see some of these delays here as the bowlers. Nine box by balls. Carroll. Big Danny's ball's coming back here. You may have to have that checked out during the uh, first string break. At the end of this string, we're going to go to the strike ball challenge. It's worth $195. And if nobody hits it, we'll add $5 to that. And next week, it'll, uh, next week it'll be $200. If anybody would like to try out with a strike ball challenge, you just need to come down and support these kids. Come watch a show. Come cheer them on. Your name uh, could be pulled. Come on our show. Can see, be seen by everyone around the world on YouTube.com. Jackpot's getting up there. It's almost up to 200. Nice try. Ooh, Danny, great ball. He just missed that. Yeah. Not by much, Dan. Yeah, tricky shot. I wasn't sure if he was going to try to play that wood or on the line and hope to throw it off the wall and back or cut it over clean. He almost cut it over clean. It's our final ball of the first game. Both boys finishing out with a nine. It's a very close match. So at the end of one string, Easter Brooks and Carroll our top seats today at 86, and our, ch our challenges today, Levitt, Jordan Levitt, and Danny Bonanno, 80. It's a six-pin difference. We're going to go to break, and we're going to come back with the strike ball challenge in just a few moments. So don't go away, folks.